So I'm driving on my way to see Adam and uh, Zero Sense on my second day in Tel Aviv. And um, I'm being led there by Nir, who's so kind enough to show me the way. As you can see, part of the do-it-yourself or do shoot-it-yourself mode of um, filming is I'm actually shooting my own EPK as I go. I'm actually going to be shooting B-roll um, of the Tel Aviv beaches with this little rig. The only ways that we've been able to do bomb it um, in the time and money that we have is because we have very short periods of time in, in each city, so we have to grab the B-roll while we can. One of the reasons I think there's so much graffiti in Tel Aviv is that there's so many abandoned buildings like the one behind me. There's a lot of buildings in need of paint. That's where writers can do the most work. They usually have the most time. It usually indicates that the city doesn't really care what's going on with the look of the city. Street writers and um, street artists and graffiti writers are able to spend more time with their work because usually there isn't that much enforcement and hence the quality of the work tends to go up. Day five, I'm in Jerusalem on my way to the West Bank, Bethlehem. Here's Abu, who's taking me to uh, Abu Ahmad, who's taking me to um, the gate. Okay, so I just got through the checkpoint. It wasn't nearly as bad as I expected, but already there's tons of graffiti on the wall. Just got done two days on the West Bank filming graffiti writers. Kind of got a completely different perspective of what's going on in graffiti um, here in Palestine in the West Bank, especially here in Bethlehem, which is where I was. To them, graffiti is obviously much more political than anything artistic at this point in time. It's kind of hard to separate here um, the politics of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict from graffiti, which makes total sense actually, especially considering um, where South Africa was during apartheid and how all the graffiti was basically political then. And um, it's starting to transition out of being purely political graffiti into something else, but probably won't be that completely until the situation resolved here.